Hi everyone, this is Seher from Easy Peasy, and today we are going to discuss the amino acid structures. I know I made this the video on amino acid structures before, but some of the comments gave me the, the urge to make this video because I think there's still some confusion here, okay? And still, the structures I ask you to remember, if you put those structures in the exam, your examiner might not recognize it because those structures are not official structures. Those structures are made by me. So I will help you here. This is a complimentary video. Tells you how to make the official structures by the help of the structures I ask you to memorize. Okay, now let's start. So the first uh, amino acid is glycine here. I ask you to remember the greater sign attached with amino group and carboxylic group, remember? Now what you need to do is, you need to memorize the structure, but in the exam, you need to put this alpha carbon separately like here, okay? Now carbon group belongs to group four, so it needs to make four different bonds. We can see one bond is already made with amino group and the other bond is already made with carboxylic group here, so I'm gonna put it here, okay? Now, carbon needs to get stabilized with four different bonds, right? So how many hydrogen it needs to get stabilized? Two hydrogens. That's why this H2 is here. Now, this is the official structure for glycine, okay? So you need to put this structure in the exam, not this one. This, this structure is only for you guys to remember the structure, okay? Next. Next is alanine. So I ask you to remember the fork structure, right? So what we're gonna do is, again, we'll take the alpha carbon here. I'm gonna attach amino group and carboxylic group to it. Now in this case, this is an extended line attached to it. It means this alpha carbon is attached to another carbon here. So I'm going to attach it. Now tell me, how many hydrogen atom is required here to stabilize alpha carbon? One. And how many hydrogen atoms are required to stabilize the beta carbon? Three, right? So I'm gonna put it. One is here and three are here. Bingo. Now this is the structure for alanine, okay? Next. Next is the structure for methionine. Now I'm gonna take the fork and I'm gonna print it here. I'm not gonna say that thing again and again because we already discussed it, how to make that structure. Now, I'm gonna put sulfur here. Now, remember, sulfur belongs to group six. It means that either sulfur needs to gain two electrons to get stabilized, or it needs to remove six electrons to stabilize. So, to gain more, two more electrons is easy as compared to remove six electrons. So, sulfur usually make bonds, like two bonds there. So, in this structure, Sulfur is making two bonds with two different carbon atoms because there is a line attached to it showing you that there is a carbon atom here. Okay, so we're not going to attach any more thing with the sulfur because sulfur already made two different bonds and it is stabilized now. Now tell me, how many hydrogen atom is required to stabilize this carbon atom? You know that now, right? It's three. So I'm just going to put three hydrogens here. And this structure is the structure for methionine. Bingo. Next. Next is valine. Again, take the fork, print it here. Now look at the beta carbon here, okay? This beta carbon is attached to two different lines, attaching at a single point. It means that this beta carbon should not attach with two hydrogen atoms here because it's gonna attach with two carbon. So if I put one carbon here, the other carbon should be here. Right? So I'm gonna put here, I attach H3 with it because this is a lone carbon and it's gonna stabilize with the three more hydrogen atoms. Similarly, it should be here. Now this is the official structure for valine. Bingo, right? Next, next is leucine. Again, take the fork, print it here. Now this leucine beta carbon is attached to another carbon, so I'm gonna put another carbon here. And then this carbon is attached to two more carbons. So this carbon is attached to two more carbons. Now three bonds are already made. So one hydrogen with this one. And you know why three hydrogens are here. 
again this is the official structure for leucine makes sense right okay next next is isoleucine again take the fork put it here now this is beta carbon right attached to two different carbon atoms so this hydrogen should get replaced with ch3 and c here now this carbon is attached to another carbon again so i'm going to attach another carbon here how many hydrogens are needed for this carbon two right so i'm going to attach it here bingo easy right okay next is the structure for proline again take the four print it out what will happen this carbon is attached to another carbon so i'm going to put another carbon again this carbon is attached to another carbon so i'm putting another carbon here now this carbon is attached to the amino group so i'm going to attach it with the amino group here fine we will put hydrogen atoms later on but right now i'm just making the structure now amino group have n here n means nitrogen nitrogen belongs to group five it means that either it needs to gain three electrons to get stabilized or either it needs to lose five electrons there it's easy to look to gain three electrons right so it's going to make three bonds there now in this structure this nitrogen made a bond with carbon and the second one with here how many hydrogen atom is needed now only one so i'm going to replace this nh2 with nh only perfect okay now fill up the hydrogen atoms this carbon need you know that two hydrogen atoms here and this carbon need again two hydrogen atoms here so i'm going to put it here bingo this is the structure for proline okay next next is phenylalanine again you know how to make the um, fork structure print it out and just attach a benzene group with it again this is the structure for phenylalanine easy right okay next next is tryptophan again very very easy you know the fork print it out and attach this molecule with it easy right okay next next is serine you know what to do print out the fork attach oh with it again threonine attach one more carbon atom so i'm going to put the oh i'm just shifting it from here to here because I, I i need to attach carbon here you don't need to attach carbon here you can attach it anywhere but i'm just making it more simple for you guys so i'm going to attach ch3 here okay simple next tyrosine i think i don't need to tell you guys how to make it right i'm just going to print it now so fork attach with phenyl group here or phenol you can say okay next asparagine you know that fork plus the molecule next glutamine do i need to tell you anything nope fork plus one additional carbon because this fork is attached to one more carbon so this is the additional one and attach this molecule here bingo right next do i need to tell you anything now i don't think so there you go next okay fork structure now see how many more carbon atoms we are going to add so fork is here right one two three so i'm going to attach three more carbons here and nh2 at the end bingo right next if it's arginine just remove the hydrogen atom from nitrogen because it can only make three bonds attach one more carbon atom because it has attached with one more carbon atom and attach these two structures with it okay the question is here do i need to attach another hydrogen atom here you can tell me do i see carbon can make four bonds right two bonds are made here one is here so total three and one is here so how many bonds are here four we don't need to attach any more thing here because four bonds are already made bingo so this is the structure for arginine next do i need to tell you anything else i don't think so right you guys now know 
that how to make the official structures with the structures I ask you to remember. So make the fork structure and attach this molecule with it. Thank you very much by watching this video. Now, please give me comments because comments do tell me do I need to make any more complimentary videos with any topic that I already covered or not. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.